Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marisa and I'm here on YouTube to talk all things curly hair. Thanks so much for being here. Today's video is all about, as you might have guessed, Curlsmith products. Loads of my videos already feature Curlsmith products, both here and on Instagram. They are one of my absolute favourite brands. And I have partnered up with Curlsmith today to bring you this video, as I say, talking all about their products, specifically their leave-ins and their stylers. I washed my hair today and I used Curlsmith products, of course, and I did a mix and match Curlsmith combo. What on earth am I talking about? Well, I will explain it to you. So Curlsmith have three different recipe lines. So we've got this one, the orange label, which is their moisture recipe. Then we have the purple label, which is the strength recipe. And then we have the blue label, which is the scalp line recipe. And each of those three lines do something different for our hair and for our scalps. And quite often I get messages from people asking me which line they should choose, which line is going to be best for their hair. I'm here to tell you, you don't just have to pick one. Almost every time I wash my hair and use Curlsmith products, I mix and match from the different lines. So, for example, today I used the Weightless Air Dry Cream as my leave-in conditioner. Then I used a little bit of the Feather Light Protein Cream. Then I used a little of the Bouncy Strength Volume Foam for volume, obviously. And then I finished off with the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly because that, that's my favourite gel. So I mix and matched from the three different lines to create a curlsmith combo. Now I have quite a few different curlsmith combos that I really like to use. So in today's video, I am gonna show you what I did. I filmed my wash day, I filmed the styling process. So I'm gonna show that to you. But before I do that, what I thought would be a good idea is if we go through a few of these leave-ins and stylers and explain a little bit about the products and maybe we can help you figure out which one is gonna be best for you to try first and give you an idea for some combos that you can try yourself. So just like when we eat food, we think about the nutrition, we think about the ingredients that are in those foods and what nutrition that's gonna give our bodies. And we know that we all want to aim for a balanced diet, right? And the same is true with our hair. Our hair has different needs, it needs different things at different times and it needs a balanced hair nutrition diet. And that's one of the reasons that Curlsmith have created their products in three separate lines, because it makes it much easier for us to pick and choose depending on what our hair needs. So as I said, we've got the Curlsmith Moisture Line with the orange label. Now this is their original line. This is the one they started with. And this product right here, the Hold Me Softly Style Balm, was the first Curlsmith product that I absolutely fell in love with almost three years ago now. And it is a styling cream. It can also be used as a leave-in. It kind of um, spreads itself over those two categories of a leave-in and a styler. And it is very moisturizing, but it's also fairly lightweight. So I didn't find it used to weigh my hair down. And when I started using this, my hair was dyed blonde and it needed a heck of a lot more moisture than it does now since I grew out my dyed hair. And I used to love this as a one and done styler. It gives you that flexible hold. Uh, there's no cast. You don't have to scrunch out a crunch. It just gives you lovely flexible hold that used to last for days. And this one is designed to be paired with the Moisture Memory Reactivator also from the Moisture line. So this one is a primer and then this one as the styler. And they work really, really well together. So if your hair is on the drier side, then these would be a fantastic option for you, especially if you don't like too much hold, you're not keen on a strong hold, you want something a bit softer and more flexible. Then in the moisture line we have the souffle. Now the souffle, the texture of this um, is really unlike much else I've seen. It's proper wobbly jelly. It's, oh, it smells so good. They all smell amazing. And the souffle is a styling gel and it has medium hold, uh, but it's super concentrated. I find with the souffle, it's really moisturizing. So if your hair is really dry, this would be amazing, amazing styler. And I do feel like less is more with this product. You only need such a small amount. So a tub of this size just lasts forever. But I find it's really, really good at battling frizz and just making your hair really shiny and moisturized. And then the last styler from the moisture range I want to show you is the In Shower Style Fixer. Now this is the hardest hold styler that Curlsmith have. And the reason it's called the In Shower Style Fixer is because they recommend you use it on 
dripping wet hair while you're still in the shower, it's a really strong hold. So you want to apply it to soaking wet hair. And as I say, super strong hold, as you can see from the little bar. The products have a little bar on them, which shows you the level of hold. So where the Hold Me Softly Style Balm is only a level one, the Inshower Style Fixer is a level 10 extreme hold so if you love a stronghold gel this might be one to try unfortunately this one's not available in the uk anymore but it is available in the states so moving on to the strength line which is carl smith's newest range um in fact the multitasking conditioner and the shape up aqua gel are the newest products out of all of the carl smith products and the strength line of course as the name suggests is there to strengthen your hair so if your hair is damaged then the strength line is going to really help to rebuild your hair and strengthen it. They all have bond building technology, which means that they target the bonds within the hair. There are multiple types of bonds within the hair and the products target those bonds and repair them and just help the hair to be healthier and stronger. They all contain protein as well, which my hair absolutely loves. My hair is healthy, but it's naturally high porosity. So it always wants protein. My hair is also fine and fine hair can tend to want more protein than perhaps coarse hair. So these products for me, this purple strength line for me is just, oh, I love this. And as I said, I used the, the volume foam and the protein cream in my hair today. And in a moment, you'll get to see exactly how I use them. The volume foam is actually the one and only styling foam that my hair loves. I've tried a few different volumizing foams and my hair really hates them. It makes them frizzy. This one doesn't, it absolutely loves this. And this protein cream is a true styling cream. As you can see, it's got a level four flexible hold, but it's just absolutely fantastic. The multitasking conditioner is actually a three in one. It can be used as a deep conditioner, a regular rinse out conditioner and a leave in. So all the strength line are very lightweight, much lighter weight than the moisture line because they're focusing on the strength of the hair they're not focusing on deep moisturization what you might find is good is using one of the moisture line and one of the strength line and you might just find that you really can find your protein moisture balance by doing that and finally we come on to the scalp line which is this blue label and we have in the stylers and leave-ins department of the scalp line we've got the weightless air dry cream and we've got the my personal favorite the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. Oh, I love this gel so, so much because it's so lightweight. There's no build up with this at all. It doesn't build up on your scalp. It doesn't build up on your hair, but it gives a decent hold. So seven out of 10, so pretty good hold. And I absolutely love it. It's my favorite gel to kind of seal in everything else. So if I've used a few products, I always like to finish with this gel. And it's called the Flexi Jelly because it really does give a flexible hold. Like there's no stiffness to my hair. It feels so soft and bouncy and it feels kind of product free despite the fact I have four products in it. And then the Weightless Air Dry Cream is actually a leave-in conditioner. It's very, very lightweight. And because it's so lightweight, it can actually help your hair to dry faster, which I think is why it's called the air dry cream because if you're gonna air dry your hair, you know, we all know air drying takes forever, but with a very, very light leave-in like this, it can speed up the process. I love it, but I still always diffuse because I'm a diffusing addict. So because my hair is easily over moisturized, it tends to love a lot of protein and it's fine. So it loves lightweight products. I tend to do my Curlsmith combos from the scalp line and the strength line. So obviously there's the combo I used today. I could just as happily swap out the air dry cream for the multitasking conditioner as a leave in and then skip straight to the volume foam and the flexi jelly. So there's so many different ways that you can mix and match. And if your hair does love moisture and is a little bit drier, I think that the multitasking conditioner as a leave-in and the curl defining souffle as a gel would be absolutely amazing together as well. And if you want lightweight products but you're a little bit scared of adding protein, perhaps your hair doesn't love protein or need protein at the moment, then these just these two together is an absolutely fabulous combination the air dry cream and the Hydrostyle Flexi Jelly. So have fun experimenting with the Carl Smith products you already have. Maybe you want to try some of the new ones. And on that point about trying new Carl Smith products, I am so excited to say that I finally have a Carl Smith discount code that I can share with you guys. It's Marisa10 and it will get you 10% off for your first order with Carl Smith. And oh my goodness, <laughs> you guys have been asking me for a Carl Smith discount code for so long, especially on Instagram. So I'm so happy 
so happy to have one for you. It's an affiliate code, so when you use it, that means I make a little bit of commission, so it's a win-win situation. And I will put it in the description box as well for you, along with links to these products. Okay, so now we get to the fun bit. I'm gonna show you my styling process from today using the Curlsmith products and explain to you exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. And I'll see you back here in a minute. So I'm starting with freshly washed and conditioned hair and I'm just removing some excess water with this microfiber towel. And then I give it a quick shake to help it fall away from the head. And I'm starting with my leave-in, the weightless air dry cream. And I'm using very small amounts of these products as you'll notice today rubbing it between my hands before just gently glazing over my hair. So this is not the praying hands technique where you kind of smooth the hair between your hands. I'm just gently glazing, grazing it over the hair, which helps with distribution. And then I will start scrunching it in in a moment. Just a quick note on product amounts. As you saw, it's just a very small amount that I apply. But for all the products I use in today's video, I actually apply the amount that I show twice. But I thought I wouldn't just keep showing you the exact same thing over and over. So now I'm onto the protein cream. And this, again, just a very small amount rubbed between my hands and basically doing the same technique of glazing over the hair before I start scrunching it to really, really apply that and get that squished into the hair. Flipping my head again, every direction, which helps with the distribution, it also helps with the volume as well. I do use my fingers a bit like a wide tooth comb and just lift my hair from my scalp periodically as well. Now we're on to the volume foam. And I tend to like to concentrate this on my lengths, but really on my roots. And I just use my hands there like a wide tooth comb and just put it in at the roots and slightly lift my roots away from my scalp with some of this foam and it really helps the volume to stay and then just scrunching the rest of it into my lengths. Trying to pay a little bit of attention to the back of my hair as well because um, sometimes it's easy to just focus on the front because that's what we see in the mirror but remembering to give a bit of attention to the back is important. And now we're on to the Style Flexi Jelly and I don't even bother to glaze it over, I just scrunch it straight in. Again, flipping it in every direction for volume and even distribution. Just giving it a really good scrunch. I do find that if I don't scrunch my hair thoroughly, I really notice the difference and my curls just don't form the same. Now one last time, just lifting my hair from my scalp, a wee bit of a shake. Last little bit of attention to the back, which is getting more and more tricky the longer my hair is getting but just making sure to really scrunch that product in well all over. And now my curls are looking good, like they're really starting to form. And now we're ready to dry these curls. So once I'd finished styling, I diffused my hair until it was 100% dry and I had a light cast, which is where your products make that kind of hard, crunchy, coating on your hair which back in the 90s nobody knew what to do with but now thankfully we know a cast is a good thing and all we have to do is scrunch our hair gently to get rid of the crunchiness and reveal soft and bouncy curls so these are my results as you can see it's really shiny and you'll have to take my word for it that it is so soft and feels quite product free I wonder if you can hear my earrings jingling. They're super loud in my ears. They're very, very jingly. <laughs> but yeah, so, so, so pleased with these wash day results. It's so touchable. I need to stop touching it because it's so touchable that I keep sticking my hands in it and I'm gonna frizz it up. Now, of course, there are more Curlsmith products than the ones I've showed you. I've just focused on leave-ins and stylers today. I would love to hear from you what your favorite Curlsmith combos are, if you already have one, or perhaps you're thinking of trying a new Curlsmith combo. Maybe you've been inspired by this video and you fancy trying one. Please let me know in the comments or send me a message over on Instagram. I do reply to all my DMs and I can't wait to hear how you guys get on creating your own Curlsmith combo. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more from me. That really, really does help me out. And I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Bye.